people to see. When you meet people, when you engage in your world with, with other people, either in this environment, at school, on your job, your significant others, what do you want people to see in you? What do you want them to see? Give me a few things about you. That you're a good person. What else? You're real. Okay, I saw a hand back here. Then I'm con I have confidence. What else do you want people to see? That you say that again for me. Yeah, that I trust God. That's a big one. Clarissa, I saw your hand. You want people to see that you're courageous. Okay. All right. <laughs> and sound effects. <laughs> And sound effects. Okay, I'm going to get some from this table right here. What do you want people to see in you? Trustworthy. That you're trustworthy. My table right here, what do you want people to see in you? Fun. That you're fun, okay. Anything else that's burning in you? Yes. Uh, person of action. Person of action. All right. And honesty? Okay. Intelligent. Y'all see I'm at the bottom. Y'all just got me doing, <laughs> y'all got me doing squats down here. <laughs> One more, right here. Uh, reliable. reliable. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's what you want people to see. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, though, what did I say was the third question we had to address? Because you got this. You know what you want people to see. What do you think God wants people to see? What do you think he wants us to show out of that arena? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Compassion, love, care, and believe it or not, God wants people to see all these great things that you already see in you, too. You know why? Because of who you are. Here's the thing. He wants that arena to increase. He wants that arena to increase because of these great things that you know that exist within you and then the other treasures that he has hidden in you, he wants that to be seen. He can't, it can't be seen if our arena doesn't increase. Our arena cannot increase. Because here's who you are, ladies. If you don't know this, you are the light of the world. People are in darkness in your schools, in your communities, in your neighborhoods. And guess what? Because you are such a bright light, you cannot be hidden. You just can't be hidden. And you know what? When you are a light, people use you for the, your, your, let, me, let me rephrase this. You should be used for the light that you are, meaning that you don't put a lamp under a basket can't hide who you are. But what you do is you find your place. And in this case, a lamp, a light deserves a lamp stand. And you put it on that stand so it can give light to who? Wherever your light is, wherever your world is, wherever your world is. So here's the thing. You got to let your light shine so before men so that they may see that you're a good person, that you're real, that you're confident, that you trust God, that you're courageous, that you're trustworthy, that you're fun, that you're a person of action and love and honesty and intelligence and reliability. You have to let all that shine so that they won't glorify you, but who will they glorify? Because it's such a dark world and it's hard to believe that there are still people like you. Ah, oh, there are still people like you. That's the beauty of this thing. So you got to increase that arena. That arena has to be increased because whatever light that you have, it shines through that window.